Welcome back to more remother tortured fa tormented fathers. Why do I want to say tortured? Either way guys, if I am correct, this should be the finale. Provided everything go as well as I want it to. Now I don't know if you have free roam of the house right now. I mean, I would kind of doubt it. I'm not going to wander too far because I just saved. So there really is no reason for me to save. Just to make sure I got the syringe and hand crank because that's all you need. And right now we are about to enter the end game. <laughs> end game. Avengers just came out. With that same very title. Oh! Not this time. Scissors to the face. She should say again. I like how she uses it herself. Resourceful. <laughs> I'd like to think that that's saved. Somebody's trying to break through. Did my voice seriously just crack? <laughs> I got it with the syringe that time, I think. Which doesn't work. I can't. Thought I could. Ah, oh, so creepy. That's such bullshit. I don't have any defense items anymore. She just have a copy of myself. Oh, 
Oh my god, what was that? Why? She's just gonna kill me, isn't she? That's such bullshit. She walked right past me. There was no reason she should have spotted me. Also, why did I crouch? Also, why didn't the fucking crank do it in time? All of these things, none of them make sense. Bullshit, that fucking should have worked. I should have been able to run straight through it, but no. Game wanted to be a dick. Nothing can go perfect for Philip. I don't think I could kill you with Corazon, you dumbass. Thought I could blind you with it. Run. What the fuck? How did she get there anyway? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh yeah, you know the thing I need to go to? Why isn't she getting on it? None of that made any fucking sense. Where the fuck am I supposed to go? I literally cannot remember, and this is pissing me off. Such bullshit. Everything I do just fails. Are you kidding me? There's literally a turn to the left I never fucking notice. Fucking stop falling out, you goddamn charger cord. 
Yeah, she's right there. Run! Dumbass. Yeah, no, I want you to walk as slowly as possible. That makes all the sense. Oh, do I literally have to shimmy crawl? Is that a dummy? Oh! Lovely! Stay there. Jesus. Leave me alone. <clears throat> Are you kidding? Did you move? Sure I can. Where the hell am I supposed to go? She should have known I was right there. That was just all bullshit. Like, I threw it over there. Why did she immediately come for me? Go to the actual destination of the noise and not to the thrower the point of a diversion item if it doesn't even fucking divert it makes no sense like for real dog
Lil Moan, you got any words of encouragement? Are you fucking kidding me? You brought me back all the way here? No. Can I just send me to the right where that doll's head is? It was so much better. And step. have insanely good hearing I literally just got out of the fucking thing started crouching and she's like I can't do it, but I can hear you how there's no difficulty No. Move! Get away from the spot I'm gonna be coming out of. This game is literally cheating. That is fucking bullshit. I still don't understand that part. How am I a copy of myself? Oh, 
That makes no goddamn sense. I'm afraid to walk near her. She's not fucking going anywhere. I will make you regret it, fucking Why did you throw moss at me that I cannot avoid in any way, shape, or form? Bullshit! You should be clear! Wait a minute. Hey, I have my light on. You should be gone. Disappear. I crouched. They should not be on me. Where the fuck am I even at? I'm right back here at the beginning. This place is so disorienting. I what now? Stress. 
Psychotic drug, reward veterans, suffering from post traumatic stress disorder. To forget the horrors as a father who ruined his daughter's life, forcing her to live as a man. Just like all of us, he was a victim. He could only count the results of the experiments of the plantation. When they withdrew the drug from the market because of its crazy side effects. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the one who is crazy here. <laughs> Maybe we both are. You could have been one of us. No, I couldn't. <laughs> You won 
intended to propagate as a sign of God. This was not a gift. This was not from God. It was fucking stupid science. And those two things have never been compatible. We believe it. It's true. And we were wrong. You left us there to die. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I don't remember. I, I can't remember. It's all confusing. I don't want to No, I don't want to die rotting in hatred. I hate it all my life. I don't care anymore. It doesn't matter who you were, what we were. You are who you ever become. Look at yourself. I am nothing like this. This is all just a farce, discount story garbage. You know, now I remember I was the young man. I love you. I've been hours in this She is still alive. You will find her. I know you will find her on top of the world. What? Who's in the bag? What did she find? A goodbye. A goodbye that spoke of hope. Hope? Oh. Do you mean to say that, despite everything, she was not resigned to the idea of finding her? Not at all. That was a 
interesting. I mean, for what it is, it's a good game. The only issues with this game is the hiding mechanic, for one. Not specifically the couch hiding, but the closet hiding. I wish you had a little more visibility with that. The closet hiding because there was that one point where I couldn't see anything but if I walked out they were literally an inch just out of view maybe mad um, you had everybody's complaint where you literally couldn't tell what floor your stalker was on unless you were wearing headphones like your only other indication is music it ramps up a little more in kind of a way. Other than that, the mansion was fine, the story was as good as you were gonna get with this kind of horror. It was scary enough. Honestly, my biggest nitpick, that's just picky, that's just my just me. Like, this doesn't have anything to do. Throughout the game, I kept listening to the dialogue and how everything went. And I had my opinions at the beginning of the game, which you might have heard me say. But as the game continued on, there was just something about the voice acting over time that just made me... not care for it because it's not bad it's not dreadful but I do think it could have been better and I don't know why there's just something about the main character her voice just doesn't sound like it would come out of her I don't know I just didn't think the main vo the main character read I didn't think her voice actors fit her. Like the entire time, you would almost borderline think it's a man trying to be a woman. But I think of all the characters, I think Felton was the best. Because even with Gloria, she sounded like a 60 year old woman in a 38 year old woman's body. She sounded way too old for actually how old she was. So yeah, I had minor issues with Reed and Gloria, one sounding way much older than they are, and the other one just, I don't know, the voice actress in my opinion just doesn't sound like they fit that character. Whereas Felton, he did a great job. I thought Felton was good. Fit perfect. I don't know, I, I, this is a good quality... kind of shortish indie-ish game like it's not Resident Evil 7 like that game motion cap voice acting gameplay setting everything's on fleek everything is great except for enemies you know that gets a little stale over time but this game didn't have enemies per se just three stalkers two two and a half maybe I don't know. Two and a split personality. Because you got Felton, the Red Nun, which is Gloria, and Jennifer, who's just Felton. And his split personality. But yeah, I think overall, Felton was definitely the best character in this whole story. The most tragic. And then Reed's an okay protagonist with ambiguity around her with you know the whole thing with Jennifer watching the news and seeing what she did to get there it's a bit sketchy uh, the characters and events depicted in this game are fictitious and innocent learned to actual things but I think overall for probably the budget 
and the team working on this game. I'm not going to rate it out of a AAA title. Like, I'm not going to score on the same merits I would Resident Evil 7. Or even maybe Outlast. But I'd say this game is a good C plus to B minus. I'm still on the fence about that. Like, it's not bad. I love the direction, the design. I like that right there. That title, Remother Tormented Fathers, with all the the birds, the, the, the weird kind of vines, thorns, or whatever. That looks cool. That is aesthetically pleasing. Like, the aesthetic art design of this game is phenomenal, and by far probably the best thing about this game. That's my opinion. Because the game is solid from most standpoints. Its sound design can do a lot. That's probably the, the biggest lacking one. Visually, you can take it or leave it. It looks like a PlayStation 4 game that would have came out at the beginning of the life cycle, not near the end of its life cycle. Which is weird. But overall, Remothered Tormented Fathers is... It's an alright game. It's an okay game. C plus, B minus. If you're into horror, play it. If you're not, then don't. Just don't even look at it. Look away, pass, skip. What is, what is there to... Why are you telling me to skip? Congratulations, you have threw through the horrors that unwind in Felton's Mansion. Your reward for surviving this artwork that you can find in the main menu. Catch a glimpse into the artistic part of the game design. You know, I just said that that was literally the best part of this game. So, yeah, like that. That right there, that picture right there, amazing. Love it. Ground floor map? Okay. So these are like the pictures of the, all the ground floor stuff. And this is the first floor. No characters though. Ooh. Is that the attic? Yeah. Obsession. Okay. Is that what that's called? Room when we first meet Jennifer? It's the base. Attic. Yeah. You can see. They're trying to get there. They got there. Felt, now he kind of looks like that angry farmer in that one photo. Oh yeah, Celeste. Who's that? Mysterious dead body? Oh yeah, the Red Nun is amazing. It's a wacky and whatever. I thought the Red Nun was cool. The Jennifer Felton twist was something you probably see, but... Oh, these are my collectibles that I actually found. So I know I would have missed the song. Storyboard? I did not think this would come with the storyboard. Especially considering there's no way to freaking... Special death scenes? Alright. Uh, anyway, that's, that's it of Remother Tormented Fathers. The next time you see me, I literally just might go to Uncharted. I, I, I am almost 100% for sure that I'm going to go to Uncharted Drake's Fortune. Almost. Okay, maybe not 100% sure. I'm 90% sure. Because I really want to replay that game. Because I'm watching the uh, Nolan North, Troy Baker definitive playthrough of that. That just makes me want to play it. And I've already done Uncharted 4. And I recently got... Oh, what is it? The Lost Legacy. But... It's... 
think I should go to Uncharted 1, 2, and 3. And then maybe do a redo of Uncharted 4, but I don't think there's really a need for that right now. Just because of the style I did Uncharted 4 is much different than what I'm doing now. Because I live streamed Uncharted 4 and then chopped it up into bite sized episodes. And by bite sized, I mean 20 to 30 minutes. But the game was just so good. <laughs> but anyway, the next time you see me, this, this is it for Remother Tormented Fathers. We're done. I'm not gonna do a collectible run. Screw that. The next time you see me, it'll either be Uncharted Drake's Fortune. I really want to play that or Assassin's Creed Revelations either way whichever one I don't do is next so if I don't do Uncharted then it's after Revelations if I do Uncharted then Revelations is coming after that that is my plan and then I'll do Uncharted 2 Assassin's Creed 3 whichever one if it's Uncharted 1, Revelations, it's 2. If it's a Revelations, Uncharted, then it's 3. This is what it is. That's my plan for so far. So I hope you have a great day. Remember, only you can be the best you can possibly be. I hope you enjoyed this game. I hope it piqued your interest because it is a solid game. Not a great game. Not a special game. But a good game with some really neat aesthetics. <laughs> so... Yeah, if you like the video, give a like, comment for the super special, awesome subscribe if you haven't, that really me out, and ta-ta for now.